Well, hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be creating a weekly layout in my wellness happy planner, and I'm going to be using the Dream Seeker sticker book. I used it earlier in my big planner layout, and I just absolutely loved it. And I thought, why not? You know, we're just going to go ahead and carry on with that sticker book for this week's layout in my wellness planner as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this beautiful washi uh, sticker. I, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> oh my. So yeah, I'm just going to start with that and I'm going to lay that down as the foundation for the types and color scheme that I'm going to be using. And I found this beautiful Hello Weekend uh, sticker in the, uh, the Color Story 4 sticker book. And I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and just rock on with kind of like a uh, purple colored theme for this week. Because that's the color that's sticking out the most for me out of this book, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm feeling really purpley lately. <laughs> go figure. I'm supposed to be feeling greens, but hey, whatever. We're rocking on with it. And purple to me is like a... It's a peaceful color, but yet at the same time, it has like a royal and a regalness to it. So that kind of actually sums up my um, typical feeling or emotion that I'm having at the beginning of this week. So yeah, I'm just going to rock on with this purple, guys. And okay, so I'm still trying to use the rest of this uh, washi sticker. And they only have like, it's not a full, you know, size to go across the whole page. It's going to like give me enough breathing room for like two full size stickers. So I thought, why not? I'm just going to go ahead and use these two upside down tombstone stickers. <laughs> oh, I love the tombstone stickers. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use them up there on the top. So I'm going to start Monday off with a mantra. And I'm going to finish off with Friday with a feeling. So that's going to be like my general uh, like work week reflection. And then I'm going to use some of this uh, beautiful purple washi from the Stargazer collection. It, uh, I, I figured this out in my other layout, but it actually goes really well with the color scheme from the Dream Seeker sticker book. <laughs> so heck yes coordinating this beautiful shade of purple and I'm just going to go ahead and just cover up those black bars going across the paper just to get that purpley vibe going on guys and as you may know if you've seen some of my previous videos I'm starting to track my uh, steps and weight and uh, fitness routines uh, water intake things like that so I'm going to go ahead and grab the original um, fitness sticker book. I have the mini version, which it, originally it was like a newbie mistake, and I didn't realize that there was many in classic size, but it seems to be that this is actually working out for me because I can fit so many more trackers in the one, bl like, one block. <laughs> so, heck yes, rocking on with the mini stickers, and I, I don't know, like, why, to me, this should have never color-coordinated, but those ones with the hot pink and the yellow, like, they actually coordinated well with this purple shade, and they actually go with the little flower washi that you see down below, and it just kind of, like, mutes out the, the brightness of it, I guess. So, yeah, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and rock on with these pink and yellow ones, and at first I was going to do that and then I didn't like how there was like all black on one side of the box. So I'm just going to switch those up. And these are going to be the main focus of my yoga workouts, which granted um, Saturday and Sunday I typically try to focus on cardio. Just for the fact that I don't get the steps in like I would at work. So that's why those two are the same. And then I realized that the yellow and pink are opposite on some of these so I was like "Ooh, you know so you could kind of have like an ombre effect going across your page so I'm like yeah heck yeah you know like I, I can actually go with this and that little total calories burned for the day since it is a black colored sticker uh, that's actually going to hide the fact that that is not one whole sticker 
going across. So it's kind of like making your own fitness washi. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm liking this. So this whole bottom bar or row is uh, going to be where I'm tracking my fitness and health, you know, those type of things. And I didn't have enough of the black colored uh, water intake trackers. So I was like, you know what? There's some green in the leaves, which, yeah, as you can see, like, yeah, I'm really trying to dig. I'm trying to find more of them, but there just isn't. So we must do with what we got. And that green right there, it kind of goes with the leaves of the flowers. And I thought, you know what? I have pink down below. So I'm just going to go ahead and just alternate this green and the pink just to kind of coordinate the theme of the flowers in as well. So you got some yellows and pinks and greens. And of course, the black kind of neutralizes it. And like, look at how perfectly these fit. Like, they are for the mini size planner, but whenever you put them all together in a classic size box, they fit and create like this cute little border. So now I'm able to track all of them things, like I said, in one box, and I still have room to reflect on how I incorporated that topic into my yoga sesh for that day and maybe how it went or if it, you know, if, if I didn't feel like I got what I needed out of that uh, fitness routine. So this is how I'm tracking, you know, like, am I keeping my positive flow going or am I kind of like pooping out? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so I'm still keeping the, uh, the thought process and the emotions and feelings tracking going on here. It's just it's more fitness related for that bottom row. And now, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and throw that fitness book off to the side because I'm not going to be using it. And I'm sorry, I did have to take a slight pause. Uh, I had mom duties. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, uh, we're just going to get back to planning. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this because I thought that this was just absolutely gorgeous. And with this week being a possible interview week, um... Yeah, I felt like this was a good uh, quote to put at the beginning of you got this no matter what, because if I get it, wonderful. If not, I still enjoy the job that I have. So either which way, I got this. We are doing great. And now, okay, so I want to kind of alternate that purple shade. There you go. So I'm going to try to do like a diagonal going across the page now. And... I'm running out of stickers in this purple color and it's like, okay, so I'm, I'm thinking that's the best place because I, I normally try to like incorporate my weekend thoughts and reflections as one, but it might change. It might change with, you know, how I'm going to be uh, putting this purple throughout the layout. And then I was like, okay, well, maybe I can use these arrow stickers but that isn't going to work either because I only have two. <laughs> so I found this dark shaded purple one. And this is from the color story four. And I was like, you know what? Why not? We're just going to put that there. And that's going to kind of like, yeah, to me, like, <laughs> I like how I make it like a story. But it's going to kind of explain like that dark shaded purple going across the page. <laughs> oh, so technical. And yeah, so I found this cute little one, two, three dreamer and it is a white labeled sticker. So, I mean, I could just kind of put it anywhere. It doesn't really matter because it would blend in with the rest of the page, but like, I don't know. I just feel like it's naked by itself and I want that top, that top space up below like Hello Weekend. I want that for journaling. So I'm not going to really alternate for Saturday and Sunday. So I need something that's the similar size as this dreamer counter. And I found the perfect sticker. It is that dark colored purple and it says dream the impossible. So I'm like, oh, it's like it's made to be in. Like I said, it's the same exact size. And at first I'm going to try to like put the two together and kind of make like a cluster which you're going to see here in a moment, which uh, I kind of got ahead of myself, but here we 
go. Okay, this is the moment. This is the Eureka moment. I found it. There it is, guys. Look at this. And I'm like, okay, well, I could do a cluster. And then I'm like, no, because it's taking up writing room. I don't like the fact it's taking up writing room. So I'm like, you know, I'm just going to put this right beside it. So, yeah. Okay, so I still have my writing room for Saturday and Sunday. And that Dream the Impossible, actually, you know, it kind of helps uh, balance out the dark purple that is shown on Wednesday. So now I got some on the right page as well. And now I just need to find something that's going to like cover that space up right there. Look at that. And at first I was like, I don't know about like some of that white sticking over. And you know what? It looks okay. It is fine. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And I have the flowers and the feathers being spread across the page. And like I said, since this is my wellness planner, I do want writing room. The only one where I'm really not going to have a lot of writing room would be Monday. So I'm really going to need my week's mantra to like really set the mood for Monday. And, you know, I'm, I'm just going to deal with it. Just going to go with the flow this week. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I have my passion planner so I can still do weekly focuses. But, um, yeah, moving on. So I found, I went back to the original uh, wellness sticker book because they have that lovely shade of purple. And I'm just going to spread these little headers along the page, which, yeah, that was completely uncentered. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and just spread these. And so like I'm using Just Breathe, Choose Joy. Of course, I'm plugged for Saturday and to be mindful for Sunday because I normally catch myself thinking about having to go back to work. So I'm going to try to practice being mindful so that I can actually enjoy my Sunday. And, you know, I found these, uh, there's Stay Positive and there's a Be Present. And so look at that, guys. Like, this is actually coming together. And it's bright and colorful, but yet peaceful and not too overpowering on the eyes. So, yay! We're actually doing this. And I'm using the sticker book that I've been hoarding forever. <laughs> oh, So, yeah, now I'm just trying to figure out what am I going to do with this sidebar? Because I normally have a gratitude tracker, and there we go. So look at this. So yeah, I'm going to have my top three gratitudes, and I'm just going to list them in that little purple box. So yeah, guys. So heck yes. And now I'm trying to find a habit tracker, because I was like, you know, there should be a habit tracker in one of these. And then I realized, oh my god, there's habit trackers in the Dream Seeker sticker book itself. And it's in that purple. So, ooh. So I'm just gonna put him on the sheet and I'm just trying to find some other headers and I found the best and I found a reflect. So I'm just gonna do like a quick whole week reflection. So I'm just gonna start that header off with that. And of course, there's I'm gonna list the best moment of the week. So hopefully for the rest of the week now, I'm gonna be concentrating on, you know, like what can I put as the best moment? So then this way, I'm gonna be focused more on the positive things that happened instead of the negative. And just to kind of break those two uh, journaling areas up, I'm gonna use this gorgeous uh, flower, little decorative sticker. And I'm going to kind of slide this habit tracker under it because, I mean, in one way I wish that it was like a horizontal box, but it's okay because, you know, this, this is going to work. It's going to work out. I just need to find one more sticker to put off to the side of it. And I'm going to clip these little leaves off and I'm going to actually throw these onto the other end of the page here and kind of connect those two stems of flowers so yeah, look at this, no sticker waste, and everything is coordinating, and now just for something, just, I was trying to actually look for like a positive quote of, I mean, not really you got this, I don't really want to like throw too much of that on there, you know, <laughs> gotta stay grounded, but I was gonna be like, you know, do this, or heck yes, and I couldn't find anything of that nature. So I was like, you know what? There's that cute little yoga girl in the original wellness sticker book. And she does have hot pink on. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to throw her off to the side of this habit tracker. 
and it's going to help explain the uh, the pink that's in that uh, calendar that you see at the top of the page and it's going to help throw with that uh, pink that you see in my uh, water intakes and then with the legs and well yeah legs so, so like my arms legs abs and then my step counter and hopefully that's gonna like all balance out and one way I kind of wish he was wearing purple but hey you know what work with what you got and there we go so I'm thinking that's it I don't really have too much room I am gonna move that up just a bit just because you know I like writing room in my wellness planner but other than that, guys, I mean, this is it. She is done. Beautiful weekly layout for my wellness planner. I am super excited over this. It is super gorgeous. And I really hope that you guys like what you see here. So I'm just going to do a quick recap of the sticker books that I used. I used the Dream Seeker sticker book, Color Story 4, uh, the original Wellness, and the original Fitness mini size. So I just want to go ahead and say thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit the like button and check me out at stitchpiration.com.